Hello and welcome to C Interview, an initiative by the Department of Media Studies, Christ University. I am Rachel De Souza. Today we have with us Mr. Kashi Vishwanathan. What started as a hobby in flower culture and flower arrangement has made Mr. Kashi in charge of the lush green surrounding NA campus. So, sir, being in the college for 36 years, how has your experience been in Christ so far? You've been a stalwart of this institute since it was known as Christ College. Yeah, it was wonderful. When I joined the Christ College in 1980, it was a dry land, except a small island in front of the block, present block one, and the rest of the places were quite dry. Then from the year 1986, after for Thomas C. Matthew took, it, took over as a finance officer and the bursar, and a lot of changes happened in the campus. And slowly, a lot of uh, different types of uh, gardens have been created, uh, similar to Bard's Garden, Rock Garden, and the uh, Block 2 Center Garden, all those things were planned. Okay. So you've pretty much single-handedly been responsible for the lush green belt around our campus. So can you, uh, can you go in depth about this? Is, I don't uh, accept that it's a single-handed. It's all a teamwork with Mr. Shanmugam and the master mind behind for Thomas C. Matthew. He used to give us the ideas. I used to plan for the plants and Shanmugam used to get the manpower and we all used to work together. Could you please let our viewers know about your experience outside the campus? Outside the campus, uh, after doing my flower arrangement uh, instructor's diploma, uh, I used to do flower and mint competitions, take part in the flower and mint competitions in Mysore Horticulture Society, Lalbak. From the year 1986-87 till 1992, I used to get the highest number of prizes that I uh, continued for six to seven years. Then I have bagged almost all the big trophies and uh, uh, prizes in the Lalbak flower show under the uh, basic flower and mints in Ikebana as well as uh, Indian floral culture. So what goes into deciding which flora and fauna should be incorporated? Uh, that is the course which I did from the Ichiu School of Ikebana, Japan. There we have specific um, uh, plant materials and uh, flower materials which should, we should go along with the shallow arrangements as a, or, or as a tall vase arrangement. Then we used to plan accordingly and do the arrangements. And sometimes we used to uh, use the waste materials which are thrown out of uh, uh, regular use can be incorporated and make use of uh, them in the flower arrangement. Flower arrangement, okay. So as the saying goes, there is always room for improvement. What improvements do you feel the university should incorporate in regards to its green policies? But right now, I think our campus is completely well maintained by the staff as well as the students and all the stakeholders. It is very well maintained and we are using this uh, Reva water uh, Recycling and rainwater harvesting, Harvest. as well as uh, many of the eco friendly th things and all, is incorporated in the university's day to day life. I think uh, all of our uh, stakeholders can support the university in bringing up more greenery into the university. So, what are your views on the current environmental scenario wherein the green cover of the world is depleting at an alarming rate? I think slowly the constructions of the high rise building should stop in Bangalore and the road widening th thing should uh, reduce. Then only I can see uh, our future generation can see more of uh, greenery inside the city. So as the saying goes, there is always room for improvement. What improvements do you feel the university should incorporate regarding to its green policies? Green policies, uh, right now we have most of the species of plants here. I think a lot of new uh, biotech plants are going to come now. So more uh, flowering plants because we see more of the greenery, but we can see more colorful plants. Now uh, we should, because of this tissue culture and biotech, we are getting lot of lot of uh, multi uh, breed uh, plants. So we are bringing more of the plants from Indo-American centers and we are uh, culturing them in the small uh, flowering pots and we are arranging that we are trying to improve more of uh, colorful uh, look to the garden. So what type of plants are these are? Uh, we are uh, bringing uh, varieties of perennials that is uh, which last for uh, two to three years. So every periodicity of uh, three months we buy the plants and uh, in our Kengiri campus we try to build them. 
to the flowering stage and they, then we are shifting it to the city campus as well as to the Banagata campus. Sir, uh, how do you try to maintain the greenery around the campus, sir? Be the water or yeah, water, the manure? Uh, because whatever uh, water we are using day to day that is being recycled and we are using it for the plant purpose. And the waste materials, what we are throwing them after food waste and the things, then there we are dry leaves and all. We are converting them into manure and we are using them. For Which for happens them. in our university. Yeah, it happens in our university. We have a separate unit uh, run by the CSA who, are, who take care of the, all this recycling work. Sir, as you know, terrace gardening is not a new term. But then a lot of people do not have, do not know much about this term. So can you please explain to our viewers? Uh, this terrace garden is a concept where uh, nowadays uh, people stay in apartments, very small, small places. They don't have ample space, uh, outside places where they could uh, plant the pl trees or shrubs or uh, anything. So the now uh, people are getting into the roof gardening. So roof gardening is a place where you have to completely uh, cover the roof for the water uh, leakage, seepage, and then you can uh, even... Uh, now bags are available, poly ba similar to poly bags, lot of bags are available in which you can grow vegetables starting from uh, coriander to uh, pumpkin and uh, cucumber, like that lot of things can be grown. Even so well as the flowers as well as the vegetables, both can be grown on a roof garden. And uh, people do, do who doesn't have a roof also, they can uh, make a bottle garden or a aquarium garden, similar to our aquarium trough. You can make a small garden inside your house, inside the aquarium trough or a bottle to look more uh, greenery into your room. Okay. Uh, so, what do you think about incorporating uh, flower arrangement course in our college? Yeah, that's what uh, Father Joby had recently asked me to uh, make a syllabus for the uh, certificate program in uh, floriculture about this uh, flower arrangement as well as uh, gardening. So it's in the process. I think from the next academic year, we may have a program and certificate program in uh, gardening uh, on this flower arrangement. Flower arrangement. So basically, how uh, they'll teach us how to yeah, in that we'll flower. teach you what is the flowers, what are the different types of flowers are available in uh, which you can with uh, less expense how you can make your room or a hall or a living room or a kitchen more beautiful. So now coming to the flowers, mm -hmm. sir, how many types of plants or trees do we have in our campus? Uh, inside our trees, we may have around some uh, 300 plus species of trees. Uh, everything has been uh, identified and named by uh, the Department of Botany. And uh, shrub wise, we have uh, some uh, uh, shade loving plants, then uh, so plants which can stay in the sunlight, uh, that around 100 plus plants are there. Then perennials, we keep on changing, perennial flowering plants. Each uh, three months, we bring around two, three varieties. And most popular among them is marigold, which look more colorful and which can last for more number of days. Other than that, we have around 30 plus uh, flowering shrubs in our campus. Then we have a uh, greenhouse, polyhouse, where we uh, keep the plants and uh, where we nurture them to uh, sprout from the seed, uh, seeds to the seedling. And we uh, just once it goes a little bit uh, to the size of a plant, which can be transplanted to a smaller parts. With this, we come to the end of the interview. Thank you so much, sir, for being a part of this interview. Thank you. This is Rachel D'Souza signing off. Thank you.